Welcome to the Live Leadership Podcast with myself, Leela Singh. All things coaching, career and personal branding. This podcast is for ambitious career professionals like you, wanting to create a life of choice and freedom, to be, do and have more through overcoming limitations, to develop new perspectives and insights and to redefine your success, be that in work, health, relationships, and so much more. Hi there, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or wherever you are joining from in the world today. Welcome to Live with Leela. My name is Leela Singh and I'm a leadership career and a personal brand coach. And my mission is to impact 100,000 people's career trajectory beyond what they ever thought possible. Why? Because I'm passionate about helping you to realize what is truly possible for you in your career and in your life. And how do I do that? Through harnessing your leadership potential. I coach high achieving, ambitious and driven mid to senior level career professionals working typically in the technology industry for promotion, for peak performance and a standout personal brand, all while showing up as the best version of yourself, what I call life leadership. First of all, let me apologize. I've not been around for the last couple of weeks for my weekly lives simply because I have been laid up in bed with what is probably COVID. I didn't test for it, but it was pretty severe flu. Um, And so for the first week, I didn't even have a voice. And last week I was still struggling and trying to recover. So I'm kind of back on form this week. Um, Still a little bit of a head cold, so bear with me um, today, but I wanted to get back on track and, uh, you know, deliver my live as I always promise to do and share some insights for you, things that you can take away and implement and work on yourself to be the best version of yourself and to get really clear on where you're heading. And that leads us straight in to today's topic, which is navigating a purpose-driven career. So why am I talking about this? Well, you know, it's, it's, it's nothing new. And a lot of people talk about having a purpose-driven career or having a purpose in life and it should reflect in your job. And The thing is, finding your purpose, I believe, is more crucial than ever today. Why? Because we spend almost a third of our life working. For some, it may not be that much, but for others, it might be even more. And would it not make sense, therefore, to be spending time when you're working, doing things that you enjoy, that light you up, that energizes you, that drives you and motivates you, to get out of bed in the morning? Or would you rather be that person who dreads Monday morning, Sunday afternoon, you're getting really stressed, you may be somebody who's blaming people around you for the awful experience you're having at work right now, you're complaining, criticizing everybody else in the situation that you're in, and this is how you're spending, if not a third of your life or more, is that really a great place to be? And this is what I mean. I'm not here to advocate that you quit your job, your career and become an entrepreneur. That's not what this is about. What this is about is spending that third of your life in your career, actually doing things that energize you and make you feel good, that you enjoy. It's quite simply that. Why? Why is that important? Because the energy that we expend in that space will trickle out to other areas of our life and it will really impact impact and influence in a positive way other areas of your life whether it's your finances whether it's your relationships which is how you feel within yourself your levels of happiness of fulfillment and so forth so think about it that way and I understand you know for some of you it might be your passion is I don't know maybe photography or um, a particular hobby or a sport that you spend your spare time doing or traveling and those are things that you're passionate about and perhaps your career your work is a means to an end the end being following that passion that you have outside of work and that is okay but what I'm instilling here and inviting you to consider is that whatever that means to an end is 
look for something that doesn't have you dreading Sunday nights and Monday mornings, that has you enjoying that week when you're going to work, looking forward to it even, feeling that you're doing something that is somewhat rewarding, fulfilling, that you enjoy. Because there's so many people that I speak to that I know who are working in jobs that maybe, yes, they pay really well, but they're bored, they're not being challenged, they're becoming mind-numbingly, like, can't even think anymore because it's just so dull. Um, maybe they're in a toxic environment or uh, an environment that just simply doesn't serve them, that isn't what they really want to be doing. And because of that, that will then directly impact how they are when they come home at night, you know, going on holiday. It's like, is it worth spending, you know, X number of weeks a year being in that situation where you're just absolutely not happy or you're in a toxic environment to be able to go on holiday a few times a year? That it, it's kind of like, what's the opportunity cost there? What are you missing by being in a job that's just not serving you? It's just not making you a little bit happy. And that is what I mean when I talk about purpose-driven career. It's not necessarily about going and, and pursuing a career that's all about your passion. It could be that you feel the thing that you're passionate about isn't necessarily something that you want to monetize, or maybe you can't generate the income you want from that. And that's okay. That's not what this is about today. This is about your career and ensuring that you're spending those eight or more hours a day, you know, how many weeks a year actually doing things that you enjoy. That's all this is about. And that's about understanding your ultimate purpose as well. So, you know, it, it's really easy. And this is this is um, human behavior, right, that we, we tend to focus on, you know, the criticism, the negative feedback, the things that aren't working, the things that we don't like, the things that we wish would change. And often we overlook the good stuff. So this isn't about necessarily if you're not happy in your job right now that you need to change, it's about taking a step back and looking, okay, what are the actual good things about it? What is it that you could potentially enjoy or let's say focus on more so that you have a different energy when you're showing up to work, that you don't have that dreaded Monday morning feeling? That's where I want you to be. So it, it's about shifting perspective possibly, or it's about maybe looking for a different role that gives you the, the happiness, the fulfillment, the positive energy, the enjoyment that would create a massive shift within yourself. So if you think about it from that point of view, ask yourself, where are you right now? And at the end of this today, I'm going to share some questions for you. So you might want to grab a pen and paper to write those questions down, because these are questions that you can go away and percolate over to really understand where you're at right now, what it could change, what needs to change, and what you can do differently to make that happen, about taking back control of your life and your career. So ultimately today, my invitation to you is to ensure that you're in a job, in a career that you find um, enjoyment from, that you get fulfillment from. Look, So look at where you're at right now. What are the good things? What are the upsides? What are the positives in what you do and where you work right now? And it may be the actual task itself aren't brilliant. Maybe they're not as challenging as they could be, but you're OK with that because actually you've got a great manager. You've got a great team and a social life at work. Um, there's flexibility in remote working, working in the office. And it might tick all of those boxes and that makes it good. And that's OK. But that's what I mean. What I don't want is for you to just accept that you're going to stay in a role that makes you very unhappy. Um, potentially can cause you a lot of stress and then cause ill health as a consequence of that. Maybe you're in that toxic environment or with people who just aren't nice to each other, you know, whatever it might be, you don't have to stay there. It's not about, like I said, quitting a career and going and setting up your own business. It's about finding something that still in, instills some joy and happiness and fulfillment for you. So here, this is about taking personal responsibility and recognizing that it's it's your interpretation and it's the meaning that you put onto your situation that will create the experience that you are having. And that creates your levels of happiness, your energy, your levels of satisfaction. And by doing that, by shifting the perspective or the way that you look at things, then things around you will change. 
So that becomes you taking responsibility for recognizing that. And this is about self-awareness, for understanding how do you look at the, the job that you do, the company you work for, the people around you, your managers, the senior leadership. What are the thoughts that go through your mind day to day about work? Are they positive? Are they uplifting? Are they energizing? Or are they things that just make you feel horrible, unhappy, unfulfilled, stressed, um, just like you don't want to be there? What is it for you? And this is what I want you to really understand for yourself so that you can then adjust your perspective in the way that you look at things. And, and some of you might be thinking, well, what is purpose? I'm talking about purpose. And, and it's like, well, what is that? Because not everyone understands it. And that's OK. Having a purpose is a bit like having um, a guiding compass or your sat nav system in the car. If you imagine when you get into your car to drive, you have your sat nav in there and you will put your destination in mind. You have an idea of where you're going. Right. And there'll be different routes to get there, different pathways. And they will um, you will need to adjust based on, let me, you know, maybe there's an accident, there's roadworks, there's all sorts of things going on. Therefore, you've got to adjust and meander along that route. And it's the same with life. It's the same with your career. It's having a bit of a direction, having, as I said, that guiding compass, because it helps you to navigate through uncertainty. It enables you to adapt to change. It enables you to stay focused on what truly matters because you know you have an ultimate destination in mind, but it's also about that journey to get there, which is where we're here today talking about finding the meaning in the work that you're doing and understanding how that aligns with your, your values, your aspirations, the things that you enjoy, the things that energize you and that light you up. Maybe it's drawing upon some of your strengths, and it doesn't have to only be about what you're good at. It could be you like doing certain things at work, but you're not necessarily great at it, but you can still improve. We can all improve in anything, right? We just need to apply ourselves to master something. So it's about, OK, I like delivering presentations at work, but actually I'm not very good at public speaking. OK, so what can you do if that's you? What can you do to overcome that? What can you do to master that? Maybe it's joining Toastmasters. Maybe it's get a mentor who can support you with that and help you to improve. But there's there's always solutions to the challenges that we're facing is about, as I said, taking that personal responsibility, building up that self-awareness to understand where you're at and what it is you need to do. Also, something to think about when it comes to purpose and careers, understanding the broader implications of your work and the impact that is having within the organisation, within the world at large, within society. And, and whether you're in marketing, you're in finance, you're in sales, BD, or in a, in a tech role, maybe you're developing software, designing you know, user interfaces, you're coding, you're leading a team of engineers, whatever role you are in, having a clear sense of passion, of, of purpose, sorry, can actually fuel your passion for what you do. So looking at the bigger picture of, yes, you might be a, a small cog in a big wheel but actually what part are you playing in that what is your role what is the impact of what it is you're doing whether it's within the, just your team alone whether in, in the organization at large or, or society understanding that having that guiding compass all of these things will help you to stay motivated um towards where you're heading but also it will help when adversities show up for you to keep going and to be able to overcome those so this is why having purpose is important. So having just explained to you what is purpose, why is it important? And that's probably your next thought. So well, why, why do I need to have that? It provides that easier decision making. It gives you um, some stability and direction and where you're heading. And it gives you a sense of clarity, particularly amongst chaos, the chaos of life, the chaos of maybe the company you're working with, a team. Having clarity and purpose will help you to stay focused and move in the direction that you want to be or to where you want to be. It, as I said earlier, it makes it easier for decision making or handling challenging situations, perhaps taking calculated risks. All of that becomes easier when you have a sense of purpose. And this is not only in your career, this is in your life as well. So what I'm talking about today can be applied to all areas of your life. OK. Um, and, and purpose, having that purpose can also inspire 
in the, in the workplace, it can inspire more creativity, it fosters collaboration, and it drives teams to work together more effectively. So it helps not only for you as an individual, but you with your teams and the people that you work alongside. The risk of not having purpose is that you can, you run the risk of becoming burnt out, disillusioned, demoralized, demotivated, not wanting to get out of bed in the morning, getting really stressed, absolutely dreading work, hating it, um, underperforming as a consequence, and so forth. The list goes on. It negates your energy, your enthusiasm, your commitment to what you're doing, your levels of performance and productivity, and it can impact other areas of your life. No matter how much you tell yourself it's not, if you imagine you're spending, let's say, eight hours a day on average working in a whether it's a toxic environment or doing something you absolutely hate and then you're coming home energetically that's still going to be with you no matter you put on a, a happy face and you're back home with your family and all of it everything's great but it's not it's never going to be as good as it could be if you're spending so much of your time in a, in a environment or a situation that you really do not enjoy and this is why i really want you to be honest with yourself and think about okay so um you know is, is what I'm doing good enough that I'm happy, content, satisfied, and it fulfills a bigger need which is outside of my career? Or is it a case it really isn't and I need to look for purpose and get really clear on what that is, whether it's purpose within my job and what I do, or as a means to an end to fulfill a bigger purpose outside of your career. And either way, this still works. And, and as I said, you know, having one of the big things about having that purpose having that direction that that guiding compass is that you're likely to stay more resilient in the face of challenge and in the face of adversity and keep going less likely to give up and it reminds you of why you're doing what you do particularly if it's a career path that you've chosen as your career driven purpose if that is the case it will help you to keep going to moving forward no matter what shows up for you so it motivates you it keeps you focused and committed and consistent in everything that you're doing even when the going gets tough so there's a lot of benefits to having purpose particularly in your career in your wider life and, and looking at being honest with yourself about it rather than just meandering through life taking each day as it comes seeing what happens it's having that purpose will motivate you it will drive you or get you better results and better performance and productivity in all areas of your life. And if you think about it, you know, most successful people have a purpose. Think about of some of the most successful people that we know, people like Oprah Winfrey, Elon Musk, um, Jeff Bezos, um, Sheryl Sandberg, all of these people, what sets them apart is their unwavering sense of purpose, whatever that might be for them. And it could be their desire to create change or to make an impact in life, to revolutionize industries or to solve complex problems or simply improve the lives of people around them. Whatever that purpose is, there's an underlying purpose to it for, for any really successful person. And the thing is, every individual, each and every one of you watching this today or listening to this has the opportunity to find meaning in your work you do have the opportunity, the means and the resources to find meaning in your work and to make a difference. It's a matter of slowing down, it's a matter of introspection, of self-discovery and then of taking intentional action based on that guiding compass because ultimately your contributions, no matter how small you feel they are, they do matter. As I said, even if you're a smaller cog in a bigger wheel, your contribution still matters and can have ultimately a profound effect in the organization, in the wider world. It's for you to slow down and recognize that and to see that for yourself. So what is it that you can do to move towards having that sense of purpose? Setting goals, setting goals, creating that big vision. And by setting both achievable and also ambitious goals, so playing a bigger game and creating that vision for the future will, is really essential for your success and can help you to stay focused and it can help to stay motivated 
and it also drives you to push those boundaries of what's possible at striving to achieve more and constantly um, looking to make a positive impact. And, and research shows, I'm, you, I'm sure you've heard this before, res research will show that um, individuals who set specific challenging goals are more likely to succeed than those who don't do anything at all. They maybe have it in their head, but writing them down will even propel you further forward and more likely to achieve those goals than if you don't write them down. Because goals provide your roadmap, they provide your roadmap for success, that path that you are on, you can review them, refine them, ongoing, you know, as I said, it's a bit like taking that drive and there's roadworks or there's a, an accident on the road and then you have to kind of adjust and take different routes. It's the same with everything else, including your career. So setting up goals means you're more likely to succeed than if you don't set anything at all. And having that vision also gives us something to look forward to. It will, as I said, it'll keep you motivated, it'll keep you driven, it'll keep you tenacious and wanting to overcome those obstacles and challenges rather than giving up at the first hurdle. So living a purpose-driven career isn't just about finding a job that pays the bills. That's ultimately the message here for you. It's not just about paying the bills so you can go off and and do stuff that you love. It's about also thinking about all those hours that you spend at work. How can you make them more enjoyable and more fun and making them feel like you're you're enjoying, you're fulfilled, you're happy in the environment you're in and with what you're doing. So find a meaningful work that aligns with your values, with your aspirations, that has you excited to get up in, on a Monday morning to, 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 to work, to go to the office, to log on, whatever it might be for you. You know, I want you to be able to wake up with a sense of excitement, a sense of a purpose, knowing that to some extent you're making a difference in the world. And I invite you to take some time to reflect on what really matters to you when it comes to your career, to your broader life and to your ultimate purpose. So, As I mentioned earlier, grab that pen and paper make a note of these questions. These are things that I want you to go and percolate on, spend some time on and answer the question because they will really help you to get some clarity. So the first question is, why do you do what you do in your work? Why, have you, why are you doing what you're doing right now? Why have you chosen that? And, and what, and by the way, it don't, if, you, if your first answer is, well, I didn't choose this, I'm just doing it because I have to, it's still a choice. It's still a choice that you have made. So be honest with yourself. And then think as number two, the second question is, what aspects of your work are important to you? So for some people, it could be that having routine is important, maybe having a lot of responsibility, managing other people, making big decisions, being responsible for the strategy of the business. What is it that's important to you? Is it exposure? Is it growth, personal, professional growth? Is it the interpersonal dynamics, working with other people? Um, you know, being able to motivate other people and, and or train them and help them to, to move up the ladder too. What is it that is important? Is it enjoying your work? Is it having a balance across your life with your work and everything else that you're doing? Is it about being able to travel? Maybe your job affords you a lot of travel opportunities that you wouldn't have or had otherwise. Perhaps there's a mental stimulation. Maybe you're looking for a job that's comfortable and that is familiar because your priorities are outside of your work. So there's no right or wrong answer here. It's what is important to you. Be honest with yourself. Then ask yourself, what are your, your values, your passions, your aspirations? And what, what kind of impact do you want to make? Whether it's in the business you're in or in, in the workplace in, or, or in, the, sorry, in the wider world. What overall is important to you when it comes to your career? And again, being honest with yourself, go back to question two, look at that, what overall is important, what's the most important thing for you? And what is the number one thought that occupies your mind on a regular basis in relation to your work? Really slow down and think about this. Is it positive? Is it negative? Is it something that energizes you and, and makes you smile? Or is it something that brings you down? The next question then is, what would you like that thought to be? if you want it to be different. So if it's a negative one or it really um, stresses you or 
brings down your energy what would you like that thought to be that would be different and what would you like in other words to be instead how would you describe your current work situation in other words where are you right now <clears throat> so give some thoughts to that and again this is all for yourself you don't have to tell anyone about your answers to these questions for you to do a bit of a uh, introspection self-analysis of where you're at right now number nine is where would you like to be instead that might be you're exactly happy or happy exactly where you are um or it might be that you feel it's time for a change um or you're ready to move up um to the next level or it's just an absolute toxic situation and you need to get out so whatever it is for you this is only this these answers are for you and you alone and then the, the, the next question is what needs to change to get you there and just think about that question okay this is not about everybody else around you changing or the company changing a strategy it's about what needs to change that you can influence that you can control and what could prevent you from getting where you want to be that's a big question because that's now really about holding up a mirror and asking yourself what could prevent you what could stop you from getting to where you want to be so those are the questions 11 questions there for you um take some time to sit and go through them and be honest and look at the answers that you come up with for each of those questions and see what it throws up for you and by all means if you're open to doing it share it in the comments i'd love to hear if you'd rather dm me and let me know what you've gained from today's live i'd love to hear that feel free to direct message me as well and here's the thing once you have that clarity on your purpose once you can set your goals you can create a vision of where you're heading what you would love your life to be and then thinking about okay what needs to happen over the next 12 months for me to make inroads and steps towards that vision take intentional action to bring your vision to life that's my invitation to you remember uh, your purpose isn't just a destination to get to it is that journey that you're on the journey of self-discovery of growth of the strength and overcoming challenges and ultimately the fulfillment that all of that will bring so until next week have a great rest of the week do set the time some time aside to work through those questions that i've shared with you today and i look forward to seeing you same time same place next week take care Thank you for listening. Please subscribe to this podcast if you haven't already done so. And if you enjoyed and gained value from today's episode, then do please leave a review telling us your key learnings and what you enjoyed the most. And do please share this podcast with your friends and colleagues so we can spread the word on life leadership, creating a life of choice, freedom and new possibilities. Connect with me directly on LinkedIn and if you would like to learn more about how we can work together, either DM me on LinkedIn or email me. All details and resources can be found in the show notes.